Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday. Yes, welcome to Tuesday, and welcome to a hall. Ah. Uh, but this is not a bins hall. No. This is a Plato's Closet hall, which a is kind of store hall. Kind no. of surprising to say because we mm -hmm. aren't really like frequenters of shopping at Plato's Closet. Selling. Yes. I Not do. Not me. A lot. Jack does I, periodically. Again, like the last video, like 39 and a half foot pole is me and Plato's closet. I'm like, keep it as far away from me for selling, for buying from, for every reason. I locally love Plato's closets for the only reason. Did the, you well, used so, to work there? No. I had nice people I worked with, but like actually working retail is awful and I genuinely feel bad for anybody that has to. But they are run by mainly teenagers. So the opportunity to maybe pick up a little gem for not what it's really worth is quite abundant. So we offered to do this haul, or well, we like offered the idea on What Sold Saturday. And thank you to everyone that did comment <laughs> and let us know that you wanted to see it. Cause I and honestly, Rick, what sold Saturday. honestly, like if you guys didn't want to, we wouldn't be doing this. No. But a lot of you actually did say you do want to see what we got. So mm -hmm. that is why we are doing this. And like I said in the Saturday video, this is a Plato's Closet mm -hmm. haul, but honestly, most of it isn't stuff that in my mind is like Plato's closet stuff. It's not like girly. It's not it's like- It's girly style, but it's not like girly brands. You know what I mean? So it's like things that are worth like actual money instead of like Shein, things from Target that are kind of cute, things from the mall that are kind of cute. It's mm -hmm. like stuff that's definitely like bigger price tag. Yeah, cause y'all know us, like we don't sell Fashion Nova, we don't sell Shein. So like that's not <laughs> what we're buying. I think there's a Fashion Nova piece city. <laughs> that's, that's not okay. what we're buying. And also we did stop by, there was a style encore right next door mm -hmm. that we grabbed a couple more interesting expensive items from but a majority of what we have is from Plato's because they were having like a random half off of a ton of stuff I think we, it was their big their big yearly clearance we must have been there on one of the first days because there was a lot, was a lot of, of stuff, stuff to pick from yeah. so we actually stopped twice because this was on our trip so we stopped on the way up and we stopped on the way back because but the there way, was so much stuff on the way up though they didn't have anything separated we'd go to one section and we'd be like, oh, this is just randomly on sale. And then when we went back, they had organized it. So all the clearance stuff was on like four or five racks. We will jump into showing you guys what we got. And Ryan's gonna start with something that he got for his own personal collection. And then we're gonna just quick show you the stuff that's not from Play-Dohs. Then we'll get into the Play-Dohs stuff. So I stalked this Play-Dohs on Instagram. This is a really, really bougie Play-Dohs, which I'm not used to at all. Like uh, tons of action designer stuff, not just like Play-Doh's designer. And they had posted this. If you aren't familiar, this is a little baby Telfar. Oh, I love it so much. It was only $75 and I had a $10 coupon and I love it so much. It's the perfect little bag. You can wear it like this so I can have all my little things in it. I have this fun little um, Disney coach keychain that I bought at the Style Encore right next door. I just love it. It's so nice. It's so handy. It's like small, but it actually kind of fits all my stuff. So I don't have it full, but just as like a visual reference. I got like a card holder. My sunglasses fit in here totally fine. My little change purse, my chapstick and my gun. But if I wanted like a bigger wallet, I could throw that in there. This was on the way back down. We were driving by and Ryan saw that they had posted this to their Instagram two days before. 23 hours before I saw it. And know. we were like, oh, there's no way that they have it. So he commented mm -hmm. and he's like, do you guys have this? And they said, yes. And we were about 30 minutes away and we were like, Oh my gosh. They didn't do holds, mm -mm. couldn't buy it over the phone, mm -mm. had to buy it in store. And so we were literally like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I didn't speed. No, but we did get stuck in traffic though, which yes, was amazing. Which we was got stuck in a roadblock, which was awesome. But I literally secured the bag. I absolutely love it. I now want the big one in orange. And the Birkin orange, but I, I think love you it wanted so it much. before. I don't know about. I now absolutely I did. It. I love the mini one. Then the same style that I bought the little Disney coach keychain from, which I love and adore. I found this vintage coach bag. This is, if I'm not mistaken, the Willis satchel. I have definitely bought and sold this many times in the past. This one's honestly probably in the best condition I've ever seen one. I may need to just do like a little bit of the brass polish on some of the hardware. This was only twenty five dollars new, and I know 
know for a fact that these definitely go for over 100. So I was very excited to find this. The interior is super nice. It has like no wear to the suede on the inside. And I believe if I'm not mistaken that this one is a made in New York. If it is, I would say you could expect more than $100. Um, it's made in the United States. Oh, okay. So it's still, that means definitely pre-1995, but they're still very, which very is, valuable. Which is really odd because most consignment stores don't go near vintage. No, like they all. don't take the vintage Besides cost Besides like Buffalo mm -hmm. Exchange or like an actual vintage shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, like Style Encores, Play-Dohs, clothes mentors, like do not. So I'll show you guys what I got from the style. And the first stop was a big. And it is this really pretty Brahmin bag. Of course, I think from far away, everyone knows that this is a Brahmin. It looks like um, I really... a gator bag from that children's book. Oh, the woman with the alligator woman. purse. I really, really like the color of this one. This like mm -hmm. stone brown kind of. It is really pretty. It's really pretty. It has like a little bit of corner wear. And I think because of that, they had marked this at only $35, which I'm totally willing to pay for Brahmin because Brahmins sell A, really well, and B, for a lot of money because they retail very high. I always forget how expensive they are. So it has the dust bag and it doesn't have the little Brahmin dangly thing, but that's okay. It's really clean on the inside too. And I was just excited to grab this. I have a question for the audience. Why is the Brahmin logo a ship? That's a good question. Because you know, when you said the little dangly thing, it's like a, a sailing ship. Why? Did they ship over like an alligator river? I have or no something? idea. If you know, please tell me. Have, you know. <laughs> other. <laughs> Back to the relevant topic. The of other air. bags that I got from this style encore are very nice. <laughs> the first one that I found, actually, of all the bags we got, was this vintage coach bag. And it wasn't honestly like my favorite style. So I was like, well, I'm just going to look at it because I saw the price tag and it was 20 bucks. They were all really cheap. And I was like, if this is made in the US or made in in New York, it I think it'd be worth $20. Mm -hmm. So this is actually made in New York, which is the best, like most vintage place mm -hmm. to have a coach bag from. And it makes it very, very valuable because yeah, this is the leather find. that will live for centuries, millennia, forever. Mm -hmm. This thing is in such good shape, you could literally tell me that this was purchased in the past like couple years. And, and I'd, I'd be like, I'd believe so. Okay. <laughs> they used to use the best leather ever. Like yes. even the handles, there's no warping, mm -mm. there's no wear, there's no trim having any issues. No. And the hardware still looks really it's good too. It's insane. Mm -hmm. So I absolutely grabbed this because it was made in New York. If this one was a little bit newer, it's not like my favorite style, so I probably would have skipped it. But since yeah. again, it's from New York, I totally grabbed it. And I think it's good that it can fit like a laptop too. Yeah. Which is nice. This will be like a little book bag. Speaking of vintage coach made in New York, this is also a made in New York vintage coach from the same place. And this one is the, not like flight attendant, the... Stewardess. Stewardess. That's what it is. My grandma might have the, had one of these. No, she was retired. The <laughs> stewardess bag. And this is like the bigger size. It Excellent. also it also even has feet on it, which I don't think I've seen a stewardess with feet on it before. I've never seen a vintage coach bag, period, with feet on them. Yeah. I'm used to them having like these kinds of bottoms, not like the ones with the little feeders. But it, since it's so big, it even has this pocket right here. It has a pocket here. Oh, that's actually super nice. And then it has the full big main pocket. The big old pocket. There's a pocket in there. And then it does have a Creed. And this one, like I said, is also made in New York. Insane leather. So nice. Super, super good condition and quality. The only where I can see is there's slight warping where they've adjusted the buckles. And then the buckles have some like tarnishing. Otherwise Super like a couple guys. small little... But like this bag is old though. It's from the 80s. Like this isn't like at, a new thing at, at all. the latest it's from the 80s. And the last bag... I've is, never seen this one before. Is one last coach that is also made in New York City. And this is called the Courier Bag. And I have never seen a vintage coach bag that's not turn lock mm -mm. or no closure. I've They're never seen one. Big. I've never seen one that like tucks in. No, so, that's really interesting. I'm fairly certain this is a more rare style. I saw very, very high comps online, I'll just say that, mm -hmm. especially for the made in New York one. I don't know if they made this style much longer because I, mm -hmm. I, I've just never seen this style before. Mm -hmm. It's super nice, just like the others. Mm -hmm. Excellent condition. Whoever had all these and brought them in definitely took very first good off, care got them. ripped off. <laughs> so yeah, second, that's actually really sad. Second, they made no money on any of these. <laughs> second, they kept such 
good care. Like all of them are super clean on the inside mm -hmm. too. Very, very, very excited to find all these. Yes. Did not expect that. So we actually went to a Goodwill that was like right next door to the Play-Doh's Salt and Crush Strip Mall. And I did find a few things. One of them being this pair of shoesies. I was able to find this beautiful pair of floral tapestry. They're kind of like little like 18th century, 19th century booties. They're so cute. But the brand on these, I honestly never thought I would find. They were $10 and the brand is Charlotte Stone. Big bolo, so we have to put the little bolo. Oh yeah, the little bolo Editing notebook. Jack, please put bolo notebook right here. Um, so I learned these from the internet, and they are super expensive. She's kind of a more niche designer, so like I don't really think her stuff is like super commonly known. But they retail for like two forty or three forty. Like they're expensive, and they resell really well because not many people buy them. So like resale market's a little smaller. So I was very very excited to find these. So I only found size like seven. yes, I only found like three things at that Goodwill, and they're in here somewhere. And I actually did them. not know about her at all. Let's get into Play-Doh stuff. Yes, <laughs> what everyone's saying, here what for. Are we doing? Okay. We literally haven't done anything for Play-Doh. So yet. half off, I think. So I'll say, say prices for people. Shorts, extra small. These were $6. And I just thought these were super cute for the season. I like that they're linen. I like they're a little bit baggier. I think they're supposed to be like cuffed up kind of. Yeah, there we go. So I'll definitely need to like give them a steam. But I just thought like a nice little pair of newer lounge shorts. I feel like those could fit bigger than an extra small too. Okay, they I think because they of the absolutely could. Then I found a pair of jeans. Oh, this is another bolo. So the notebook is out again. <laughs> so these were half of 45 and the brand on these is boyish. It's really hard to see because it's white writing on a white tag. Um, but if you ever find these, they are so sought after. They are so expensive. I'm not like entirely sure of comps. They have these really cute little raw hems on them. That's just a fuzz. I thought it was a stain. Nice little raw hem. Really, really soft denim. Like super well made. And they definitely are a high rise, which is nice. But I love that the style is also just like a good straight leg. Because sometimes when I find like really nice jean brands, it's like a funky style that's really out of date. So these are a size 25. Please. Another one I had never heard of. Thank you. I think Nick taught me that. And Sierra Resale taught me about Boyish because he knows all the niche brands. This is not a surprise to anybody. Lululemon tennis skirt. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. I know the name of this because I sold it in 50 million colors, patterns, and prints, but I forgot. Um, this one was $12.50, which somebody might say like, Ryan, why are you spending $12.50 on a tennis skirt? Because these stuff for like $60 to $90. They sell so well. And especially as we go into summer, We'd love a tennis skirt. Kind of like we said in the last video, like Lulu shorts and Levi shorts and mm -hmm. Lulu skirts and stuff that are gonna flip super fast because of the season. Right now, I'm okay with paying. Like up I don't know if I'd pay twelve fifty in like December, no, but like uh, in June, obviously. And this one's a size eight. Next up for me is more Lululemon, and it's kind of the same situation. So I think these were eleven or twelve dollars. I have taken all the tags off of mine. These are size four, and it's nice that they still have the size in them. And these are really cute print. And the shorts from Lulu have just been flying out of my closet whenever I have them. So I was excited to find those. Then I picked up. A a brand that I have not picked up in a long time. It is Paige, and these are size 29, or this, not these. This is a really cute, like super distressed, mm -hmm. well, quite distressed, skirt that has a really adorable, like tie front detail to it. This was only $5. I thought that was a pretty safe bet. And this style mm -hmm. is just so cute. And while I was kind of like looking them up then, while I was looking it up, I saw that it had a really, really cute like blogger photo. So I was like, sure. I think it's a cute skirt too, just in general. So this is a bolo, but you have to pay attention to the label for sure. These are so fun. This is Delia's. And this is the new Delia's label. So Delia's like, Disappeared. Delia shut down. Delia went, went away. Is what happened? Then <laughs> Dolls Kill purchased the Delia's name and logo and everything and likeness, mm -hmm. and they have resurrected Delia's, and it is now a fun, funky, like Dolls Kill weird punk brand. So Delia's used to be like the really big '90s trendy mall girl fashion that your parents didn't want you to buy, and then it went really bad, like in the early two 2010s when my sister shopped there, like Peter Pan collars, and everything had like a fox on it for some reason, and now they brought back the edge. Yeah. Which is fine. So these are size small, which is kind of weird to see jeans in small, medium, large sizing. But these are some really fun flared, I don't think they're boot cut, I think they're like flared, no, flared jeans, which 
I already was in a biome. I only had seen him from the front. And then I noticed while like literally ringing up that the back has like stars along the bootay. So I was so excited to find those. These were $8 and that was the full price on them, which is kind of crazy. I was like, absolutely. So I'll just do my other two full price items. They were still a really good deal though. <laughs> they were not expensive. Next up is Ibex. And this was in the men's section. I think it's men's. It's a size medium. And this is a merino wool, which is obviously what they're known for, which also Jack insert Ibex as a bolo notebook animation right mm -hmm. now. If you don't know Ibex, it's extremely expensive. It's like smart wool, but even more expensive. It's really, really expensive. That's the logo on Ibex. Which I don't think I've ever seen an Ibex in person. In person? Well, I don't know if we live in a place where I well, like, you know, like at roaming. the zoo. This is this was ten bucks, which for Ibex is a great deal. It's so it's like more expensive than Smartwall. Yeah, but less expensive than Arcteryx. Yes. <laughs> Maybe. Certain pieces. Probably. Coats, probably not. <laughs> Next up is Filson. And this is a size small. This I know is men's. And this is called like the Fisherman Classic something shirt. But it's kind of a nylon material, but it's much softer and not as stiff. Yeah. And then it has like venting throughout the armpits and venting, like a venting panel on the back and stuff. And it even has the little like logo right there. Mm -hmm. But I found this online, still available on multiple websites for a hundred bucks, because Filson is just crazy expensive, and that was ten. So, so I was like, sure, especially now that I'm trying to get some more stuff on eBay. Mm -hmm. I thought, <gasps> and I thought that was a good idea. That is Gorp Core. It is. It's Gorp Core. This orange mm -hmm. color is yep. like the color of Gorp Core. So like Gorp Core is you would just wear that not fishing, just day to day. Just for fun. Yeah, for funsies. Okay, so next up for me is a pair of Levi's. These were $9. They are a size 24, so they're a little tiny, but they are a wedgie straight in this really nice burgundy corduroy. I feel like I will probably sit on these until maybe like the fall, because I feel like that's when cords get really popular, but I can't pass up on a $9 pair of wedgie straights, but they are so popular. They have a crazy high rise and they always do super good. Anything Levi's with the name Wedgie or Ribcage in it, grab it. Is a very, a very good bet. So when we said we don't buy Fashion Nova, um, I bought a Fashion Nova. So these were new with tags, which I think, you know, doesn't really matter because it's always new with tags. They were only four bucks. So like, not that bad. But I just thought these were super cute. It's this pair of like pleather, high-waisted shorts and they have a little like belted detail on them. I don't know. Like, I'll definitely be able to make my four bucks back on them. And like, well, I'll probably take these to a Plato's closet at some point just to like break even. Yeah, but like. <laughs> I'm just transporting these from a Plato's closet to another, <laughs> to another Plato's, Plato's closet. closet. I'm not earning thing, anything from it. I don't know. I just think they're cute. So I'll give them like a week or two and then we'll see what happens. Then I found this pair of frame sweatpants. These are a size extra small and I paid $11 for these which is quite nice. I love this color, this kind of like really pretty sage green. I have to fix the drawstring apparently. But I also like that they have this like paneling kind of a detail on like the almost, under. Almost like riding pants. Yeah, it's kind of like motorcycle pants. Um, and frame clothing is actually super expensive, much like the jeans. I was excited to find And those. comfort wear is always Oh yeah, lounge so pieces in. are always a great bet. This was fine. This is Babaton from Aritzia, size 10. These were $7. And I love the little like tuxedo stripes so on the side. These are so so cute. It's like a little trouser. I would totally wear these. I like them. I, I think love they're super them. cute. And they're that like really nice, like thin, gauzy material. You can look like an Oreo. Yeah. So I think those will do good because they're cute. So this is something I don't usually buy all the time, but I thought it was cute. It was six bucks and it's a little Zara top. There's the new tag, size small, but I just couldn't let this go. I think it's so cute. It has these really big billowy, like this kind of cotton sleeve and then the middle and the back is like t-shirt cotton, if that makes any sense. But I just think the colors are super nice. I think the style is super cute. It's I think it'll do good. Very, very Love Shack fancy. It's very- And um, honestly, like if, if Melinda watches this haul, first off, really, hi, if you Melinda, want it, but also I, I, <laughs> you can, can have it. <laughs> I can like foresee a text coming to me that's like, I'm Ryan Zara. And she's always super nice about it. So I'll be like, that Zara's really cute. <laughs> This is my first time finding Daydreamer, and I guess I will put the little animation for this too. It's like the name in band t-shirts. Mm -hmm. For some reason, they really just make band t-shirts like you'd see at Target. They're about the same quality. <laughs> they're expensive. But they're really, really expensive, and they're sold at free people and all over the place. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's really cute, and it only cost me five bucks. 
it's an extra small. I don't know, I wasn't gonna skip it. Then, something that I literally have 10 million items under this brand now at this point. <laughs> Aretha Athleta. Oh Lord. This is a really, really nice poncho, like sweater. I love that. Super nice. Looks like it's from like the movie It. Like you'd be like <gasps> running down the street. Come get it. Oh, that's not gonna copy me for this. Uh, it has a hood to it and it's a size medium. And this was only, I think like eight bucks, which I thought was a great deal. Mm -hmm. Then I- This is so cute. Love this. If I would have found this, I would have kept it. Love honestly. This. Are you an extra, extra small In email? Aritzia? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunately, this is extra, extra small, but Aritzia does often run quite big. I had a shirt that was a female's extra small, and it was big on me. It runs That's usually huge. oversized. This is extra, extra small, and it's Wilfred Free. Does this not scream Stranger Things? It literally does. Literally. It's that one scene where they're in like the gap. In the mall? In the 80s, That's yeah. exactly, yes. From this is four. so 80s oh. print, so Stranger Things. So I good. freaking love this. And these pearl buttons, mm -hmm. adorable. Also, it's either linen or a linen blend. It is so. I'm gonna have to find that in a bigger size. So mm. nice. I know, I would actually like keep that too. Then we have Good American, and it's Good American Performance, which I will say, but. Good American non jeans do not do nearly as good as the jeans. Except your little blazer dress that you found. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I think Maybe it's just like the athletic wear. The athletic. I think people are so devoted to their old, actual, like, like Lululemon or like, you know, Zaya or something like that. Where like the new one, like Girlfriend Collective is I think a new one. These are good American size four, which is an XL, but I, couldn't pass these up. They were like eight bucks for like Python printed, like new high rise, good American, really anything cute. for sure. I was totally yeah. gonna buy these. And then we have another pair of leggings. Actually, I have a couple pair of leggings. These are all nice. I can buy is pants. Yeah. These are Zaya and they're a size four. And these are not only the crossover front, which is so, so trendy oh, and athletic Lord. wear. Mm -hmm. They also have that weird like roost booty. <laughs> they got that thing that makes your butt look good, I think. And then also they're a really cute, subtle leopard print. I think for printed pants, people don't mind like when it's super subtle. Cause like far away you'd be like, oh, red. Mm -hmm. But close up, it's like, oh, they're fun. Oh, red leopard. But these are really cute. And I really like to sell Zaya. I feel like it's kind of 50-50. Some people hate it. I Some can't, people I like never it. find it. So I never have the option to sell it, which is irritating. So then next for me is a pair of We Wore What shorts. I paid $9 for these. Brand is my favorite, but her stuff is expensive and I will sell it to somebody. Size 25, really cute, just little pair of black shorts. Um, then I found this pair of Levi's shorts. These were six bucks. I don't know why they say as is. Oh, that might be why. Oh, but wait. They're probably supposed to. Okay, well, um, TBD. They also don't have like the patch on the back, so that's fine. Uh, they were six bucks, just a good little pair of like. Maybe someone just did it themselves, and so they can't. I'm not gonna fix them. I'm just gonna sell them as is. They're cute. And I'm just gonna yeah. note it. They're super cute. Yeah, and like I don't really think you'd. I like be able that to, like, side split is like popular. Tell. Yeah, yeah that I think it's fine. that's probably done by someone, but so. I think it's fine. Okay, next up for me, I think I got these the first day we were there, but it's this new attack pair of Lululemon. These are the Swift Speed HR Crop 21 inch inseam size two MSRP, hundred eighteen dollars. Which is so expensive. These were, I think, 25 after Half the discount. Of, yeah. Oh, yeah. So they were 50 and then they were 25. This Play Doh's is also really close to a Lululemon outlet, which is interesting. So they had a ton of like the same ugly Lululemon <laughs> styles that somebody bought at the outlet. We went to the outlet after and I was like, Ryan, here's like, like 30 look. of the leggings that you and just bought. And they were like $90 at the outlet. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Um, But I think these are super cute. A little like green camo cropped moment. And I like that it has this little reflective thing. Oh, yeah. On the ankle. Those are cute. And then they have the little back zipper. Camel zipper like pop whip. Goes out. No. This was also, I think, from the first day. This was $7. And I have sold this top before in black. And I think you sold it in this color before. It's like Birds of Paradise. Because if you can tell, it has all these really fun little, whatever kind of birds these like are. sparrows that are like violently yeah. soaring into the middle of the um, shit. It's really pretty though. The model picture is really good. It was like $198 new. I think it's cute and I think it'll do good. This is a kimono. This is free people. This was eight bucks. This print is super nice. This like really kind of like Tuscan. Bohemian. Paisley print. Um, and the kimonos for me still do really good. 
Oh, yeah. So I think this was a safe bet. And it's one of those, like, really nice, like, lightweight ones. So people just, like, buy and, like, throw over an outfit. No size. Anything free people, like, kimono, robe, poncho, kind of... And it has pockets. <laughs> I didn't know that, which is interesting. Oh, so it's probably one of those... the whole time you're flicking It's it probably around. one of those, like, one size fits all So this, this is my only pickup that's probably, like, Plato's Closet, like, you'd expect to see it there. <laughs> this is Jack's equivalent of my fashion. Yeah. Shows. It's American Eagle, and these are comfort strips waistband 90s boyfriend shorts which that is exactly exactly why i purchased these also mm -hmm. they were only five dollars these were only ten and it's new. yeah or new i don't know why because new. other ones they had were marked higher than that and these are hmm. like the cutest pair of shorts in the whole place interesting so these are like bermuda length 90s boyfriend shorts which is so freaking in they are super cute though yeah these are really really cute this is the kind of american eagle that i actually do kind of enjoy to sell mm -hmm. and they're size six so they're not like double or triple zero which is no. really nice too and again for five bucks i was like i in the next like two months can easily get more than five bucks for oh, these yeah. then i found another aritzia piece and it's wilfred free and this is an older label where like you can't read wilfred it just says free. These are, yeah, they're just free. These are a size eight. And again, I'm saying these, but it's just a single skirt. This is a mini just denim skirt. This was about like six or seven bucks. Denim skirts for me, I think it's really dependent on the brand. Yeah. Because just like the regular ones don't do very good for me anymore. Yeah. I guess this is kind of a like play dozy thing as well. I found this pair of Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. I know this is a newer label and mm -hmm. it's a mom style, which already I was like, oh, cute. And they were seven bucks. But also they're just really adorable. They're raw hem, they're straight mom, like, leg style, and they have a like paper bag waist with this belt, and they're, like, a fun, like, army green. Yeah, that was a good pickup. Those so, are super cute. I just had to try them, and again, for seven, I felt like that probably wasn't too big of a gamble. And then I found a pair of Aretha Athleta. I, There's I more know. to come. Athleta size eight and this is actually new a tag and oh. somehow i missed this the first day that we went but hmm. the second day i was united with them. these will do really good these are wide leg they're called the bali pant and they're linen and they're linen very summery mm -hmm. super cute stripes i love the like cropped wide leg super like i'm going on a cruise i'm going to florida or if you're going in to Minnesota, i'm going to the lake yeah very nice very late day pants i did maybe or maybe not get a few things for myself oops so t-shirts big surprise this is a Lazy Oaf t-shirt, which if you don't know, Lazy Oaf is one of my absolute favorite brands to wear of all time. I love their stuff. And this one just says, that'd be great. It's just so applicable because I say it's a you problem all the time and that'd be nice. I just love it. Just a plain white t-shirt. Also like super nice. Expensive brand. It was $6 and these retail for like 50. So I was like, cha -ching. oh, this is another one that I'm super excited to have. This was $7. Watermelon shirt. Watermelon, watermelon shirts. This is Ragged Priest. Ragged jeans, and then on the front it says ragged jeans. I love the colors in this. I think it's super fun, and now that I am an employed human being, I need to think about things I can wear to work. I could definitely wear this to work. Expect both of these t-shirts to be in videos soon. Oh yeah, obviously, <laughs> obviously. Super nice, and then this one was also half fun. No, it wasn't, it was just $5. It's just an H&M t-shirt, but it's just super cute. It's Keith Haring for New York, and I like that it has the big apple on it, and then it just says Keith Haring in the back. And it's a, for H&M, it's a really well-made t-shirt. Like, this is nice. It reminds me of this Ganny one, which Ganny is like, I know, so I was very H excited to have that. So then I found this Madewell striped sweater, and I usually wouldn't get Madewell anywhere but the bins nowadays, but with these soup, like they're super wide. I feel like it's not even coming off, but they're really, really wide, long sleeves, and it's really plush and like stretchy, and it's a size large. I also really like the colors, and there's some light pilling to it, but that's okay. They were, that was like $7 or something. They're really cute. These were $5, which is kind of crazy. Were they on sale? Yeah. Okay. But still 10. I would pay 10, 10 for them too. Form. So it's Outdoor Voices. And Outdoor Voices is very expensive. And I feel like you don't really find it very often. It's kind of kind of niche. But a lot mm -hmm. of celebrities really like it and stuff. Yeah. It's kind of like Girlfriend Collective. Yeah. It's like the girls Newer. that girl, girl, the girls that gore, gore kind of yeah. a situation. 
color block high rise leggings. I think that's literally just what they're called, like the color block high rise. Everything they make is like three colors, <laughs> which is super nice. Then another Zaya piece, and this is a Zaya extra small made of recycled polyester. Okay, also that's new nice. with tag. And this is like a teal mesh long sleeve. That's all there is to that one. Nice. I think that was all the Zaya. They marked Zaya not high, which was kind of nice. <laughs> the MLM moms are like <gasps> freaking out. My Zaya was like between five and 10 for everything, which, which is, is kind of good. where all this was. Mm -hmm. We have another Zaya piece and this is size six or eight. And these are more leggings and these are cropped black, black. <sighs> These are cropped red high rise leggings with pockets. I'm like, what did I even connect? I was gonna say, I knew in my head, I was like, I'm gonna say that there's pockets. I'm gonna say that it's high rise. Me going through like what to say. I wasn't gonna say anything about it being black. The lice is cooking us. Yes. Unfortunately. As always. That's so funny. So they're nice. Jack's black leggings. And they're not black, they're red. <laughs> so then we have more. Are we the letter? <laughs> But this woman really liked these linen athletic pants. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's the same person because these are a size six petite. Which petite. I feel like for like a wide summery pant, Sweet. does it matter if they're like two inches shorter? Because no. I think they're supposed to be like crappy anyway. I think that's the vibe. But these are once again, just like linen wide leg pants with the super new label. Oh yeah, these ones even say the Cabo linen wide leg pant. Cabo. So once again, I picture someone on a cruise. We're going to Cabo. Something like that. <laughs> oh. My favorite athletas. Oh Why did I Lord. put these on the bottom? These are amazing. This is like the only thing I think I paid over 10 for. These were originally 24 and then half off, so they were 12, but oh, 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 oh. <laughs> they're Athleta and they're size small. And these are ribbed, thick. wide leg, extremely thick and soft mm -hmm. and high quality pants. They're even kind of like flared. The woman wearing them in the model picture has like big Doc Martens on and they're like flared around them, which for hmm, Athleta, interesting. I was like, That's okay. a new look for you girl, what are you doing? But they're super, super just like generous and mm -hmm. stretchy in every single part. Like they're like the accordion effect. I love these. Yeah, these are they're super good. They're so soft. They're also still, these are from 2021 like December and they're still on the website for like a hundred and thirty dollars um so I was like okay. yes that's fun and last of course for me we're ending it off with Levi shorts Good old actually Levi's. these were like 12 also so these also were over 10 but they're just classic 501 the 501s always say 501 right there cute paid Super up a nice. little bit they'll sell very quickly okay so these last three Your things are from Goodwill. So where I got these boots, I also got this pair of jeans. And I kind of want to try these on because they're nice. It's this really nice pair of vintage Levi's. They say 34, but I definitely don't think these are 34 because they're older. What are they? They're a 505. They definitely have that like nice, very high waist to them. But I like these because they're just this like broken in, kind of like really casual, distressed little pair of jeans. I think they're super cute. I like that they have like paint on them. So I will definitely, maybe consider keeping these because I like them a lot, but TBD. So Ryan can have 700. Yeah, so I can have more pairs of jeans. Pair of jeans instead of 742. Absolutely. So then the last two things I found I was quite excited about. I found Lululemon that they missed, which I was very pumped about. First one was only $4.99. <laughs> I didn't find anything at the Which is Goodwill. great. And it's just this really cute little pink long sleeve. And they did the thing to me again where they make the symbol the exact same color as the fabric. So I was like flipping through and I was like, this has to be. I couldn't find it. So I you know, panicked a little bit. And then this pair of leggings was on the newest like going out rack. And again, it's that same thing of like, wonder why they missed Are it. Are you trying to keep it a secret that you're wearing, Lulu? Literally. I don't really like understand. Oh my. <laughs> Damn. So these are definitely, um, oh, oh, do you know what I'm going to do with gosh. them? I am going to do the thing where you take them back to the Lululemon store and they'll, and fix, they'll, them. Wow. they'll fix them. Because we have, um, wow, we got an issue. Ryan, so, Ryan was really riding his high horse and he I thought would. he gooped the Goodwill. But the Goodwill done the Goodwill goop. Goodwill done goop me. <laughs> Damn. Whoa. Okay. Well, I yeah, guess that well? was the finale. Oh my gosh. Isn't that so sad? Those were in bad shape. And they're new. Holy like, it's a bucket. newer style. 
So. Well, with that. TBD. With that, I guess <laughs> we're just going to let you guys go now. Wow. I don't know why I missed that at the store. They were only $6. So that's nice. Okay. Well. Well, we will see you guys on Thursday. I'm sure that it's going to be a bins haul because we are yes. planning on going to the bins probably both of the normal days that we do this week, which means we should have enough for a haul. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, what's on Saturday? Everything the usual. So let us know if you guys liked seeing this haul of stuff that didn't cost us $1.69 a pound. Yes. Did you like seeing a consignment haul from us? I was quite surprised that this was stuff at Play-Doh's. Like, mm -hmm. new nice Athleta, I more picture as like a mature consignment store than Like a salad or a situation. So I was pretty surprised. Mm -hmm. Let us know. Like, do you see this type of stuff at your Play-Doh's? Or do you see more what we see at our local ones where it's just cheap? And it's just a fashion lot Nova, of teeny bopper brands. Maybe some Urban Outfitters, but yeah. and like one free people. Let us know. <laughs> and we will see you guys on Thursday for a bins haul. I'm quite excited to get back to the bins. It has been quite a while now. I miss it so bad. And we will see you then. So thank you for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.